It's a podcast. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. All right, let's begin. Good enough. I'm not fine, but we're good with that. Yay! Yay! It's a podcast. It's a podcast about drinking and video games. Live from Skid Row in fashionable Racine, Wisconsin, behind Evelyn's. Yeah, it's a podcast. Yes, it's a podcast fueled by beer, gin, and broken dreams. It's guys, games, and beer. Yeah. It's Steam Week, bitches. Oh, it is Steam Week all the way, fuckers. Yeah, they had the summer sale going, so we're going to talk a bit about the summer sale. Summer sale? Sale. Sale. The summer (laughs) sale and what we have purchased. That's going to be, uh... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, I want to talk with Mike about why he avoided the summer sale. Say, I gotta save money, man. I got a wedding to pay for. I got bills to pay. I don't have spending money as much as I used to anymore. So, what was your solution? Avoid. <laughs> I did, it was all over Facebook. You know, I was just like, maybe if I take one look, I was like, yeah, no, we need to buy something. <laughs> Oh, avoid if you want to save money on the Steam sale. <laughs> Speaking of, Laura, what's your Steam sale story? God dang, I cannot speak. You really today. cannot talk. Oh, it's a gin tonic. I don't have a Steam sale story. I mean, I looked at some stuff. Um, I looked at, at buying Rogue Legacy and this other um, game called Gone Home, which looked kind of creepy. Yeah. I don't know. It was about, uh, you guys know what that was about? Mm-hmm. The audience, right. Um, well, it seemed kind of creepy. Like, you return home after a year and everyone's missing and you have to, like, go around and find out what happened to your family. It's kind of creepy. Um, but I didn't actually buy anything yet, but I will. I got a few days, right? Yeah. Just going to snap. I got some time to like that. Pro tip, also Steam has a tendency to put some of their best deals back on the last day, so. Yeah. Yeah. Try and get you to bust loose. Uh, and you will. Yeah. You know you will. <laughs> Shut up! You <laughs> know you will! <laughs> There's not much left on that sale that I haven't bought. Uh, <laughs> Trap this. Yeah, that's like the really big thing. It's like any of the like, really games that I like really, really wanted, I probably will say already have. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like this, this year's Steam sale, it's like, it's not bad. This, the deals are good. But I already own most of it from the Christmas sale last year. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I'm sure they'll have, like, towards the end. I mean, like, Arma 3 has been dipping between 50 and 80 percent off. I might consider getting that um, if Daisy. I haven't seen that on sale yet, but there's rumors that that might go on sale. Well, you, gra- you didn't grab it yet? I oh, grabbed it. So, well, sale. I mean, it, there was a flash sale that I missed, but it'll probably come back around. Mm. No so, cars yet. So. so, yeah, I mean, like, there's nothing that's immediate. It was like, oh my god, I have to grab this because I already have a way too massive of a Steam library that I've already purchased. So, like, uh, but the, I mean, you know, the sales are pretty standard fare so far. Yeah. I'm, uh, I, I'm not as excited as I usually am for Steam sales. I was excited on the way out, but yeah. Yeah. At the, start of, at the start of it, I was super geeked, and then I, after like two days, I was like, yeah, so far, not a whole lot. I mean, I've picked up a couple of pocket purchases, but. Yeah. That's exciting, huh? Yeah, right. Kevin, I don't know your answer. Oh, well, I mean, I also bought uh, Risen 1 and 2 as a package. Then I discovered a a few minutes later, well, not a few minutes later, but sometime later, that it was actually on sale on on, on goodoldgames.com for $2 cheaper. (laughs) The same two games. It was terrible. I was there. Come on. Incidentally, there's another sale to check out. It's actually running a couple days longer than the the, the the Steam review. Well, I played the first one a long while ago. I think it was pirated, but then I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pick them both up. But I didn't even know there was a sequel until that that Steam sale. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm putting a skull and crossbones on for that. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. That was pirated. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow. Ironically, the sequel is about pirates. Yeah, yeah, so I pirated a $2 game. <laughs> Damn, that's broke. Yeah, that's, that's a broke ass bother. Right, I'm gonna skip you because you got something else to mention. I'm gonna bring that up. What? Well, what? The other thing you did. 
Yeah, but I still got Steve Talk. Steve Talk. Steve Talk. All right, Steve Talk. All right, Steve Talk. Well, one, Rogue Legacy, it's kind of funny. I looked at that, and I'm like, oh, I'm really interested in this game. And I looked at it, and, I, and then I realized I already bought it. So <laughs> then I just, you just haven't played it at all yet, right? Yeah. I get it for Christmas so, or something. So then I'm like, yeah, I think it was the Christmas thing. Like, but so then I'm like, well, then I just played it. <laughs> How exciting is that? Yeah. It's like, uh, it's it's when you go through all the games, games. yeah. It's just special sale of three. <laughs> <laughs> due, to memory, due to memory lapse. <laughs> so, Damn, that drink is good for oh, you. Oh, Another really, cool. really good pro tip for Steam. I'm sorry, I have to throw this thing really far. If you want to get a game you're not sure you're going to play or not, buy it and just buy it for your inventory. That way you can choose to redeem it later or you can gift it away. Oh, that is a, that is a very good That's pro tip. That's a good idea. That's yeah. a very good pro tip. Wow, Rob, you should really start doing this. Yeah, you have a mess. Yeah, so sure. if you would like a, or a I'm not of, sure about yeah. it, just buy it. Put yeah. your inventory. Yeah. I have plenty of my That's inventory. That happens. Yeah. All so time. I'm gonna give you one more we're saying is you're gonna get all that crap that we bought. The <laughs> yeah, once you are, once we see you on Steam, yes. boom, you're getting like yeah, we get crap. the garbage. <laughs> yeah, I got, I, I got command <laughs> for you. You'll be good with that. Commander cock. Command. <laughs> Chicken-based RTS. Yeah. That's that new uh, retro runner game from uh, that Commander Video oh. guy, Commander Cock. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> no matter how you spin it, that is an awesome game. Yeah, you know what? You should make that game. <laughs> if anything deserves G2B branding, it's Commander Cock. <laughs> You're like leaping. <laughs> you poor Wang. All right. All right, all so, right. So I, but I, I did put a couple more things in my cart. I, I wasn't paying attention. I, I didn't buy anything yet, but I sort of piled in my cart stuff, and I was gonna. It go doesn't back. save the sale for you, Larry. It does not save the sale. Yes. Some stuff is sort of throughout the whole sale, yeah. Yeah, and some stuff friends. is limited. So I put in Brutal Legacy. Brutal Legend. Legend. Yeah. In in the in the cart. Oh, and it was like game. I don't know. It was like three bucks or something, right? Yeah. And uh, and so I put it in there, and then I went and looked uh, the next day when I put something else in there and it was up to five so now I'm like it's cool well yeah because everything has like a background sale <laughs> yeah. price during the, the summer sale that if yeah only only ever buy things whether a daily deal or a flash deal or uh, like community choice deals otherwise it's just like a, a lame sale that like, daily deal some of them are like only a buck lower than they yeah like, they well yeah, yeah, yeah. The well, yeah there's between the 75 and 50 on a 10 dollar purchase is, is not terribly <laughs> significant and, but and, and to be fair I mean it like was five dollars so like I, it, I still want to get it. I can still get it for five. Yeah. You know, but I did put it. I, I did. I'm um, going to get um, Sid Meier's Pirates. Cause that's like two fifty. Yeah. yeah. That's good. You know, and uh, you have Pirates. Lego, Lego yeah. two, Lego Batman two. Ooh. Looks fun. I don't get like kitty game. The uh, I like uh, Lego games. And Ducktales. Re There's the Lego made. <laughs> that looked good, didn't it? Oh, my kid was giving me crap about that. Joel was like, that was a flash sale a couple of days ago. I unfortunately did not pull the trigger. Hey, all right, the original Nintendo one, awesome. Just going to say that right now. I hey, it's it. a remake of that one. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a remake of that one. Yeah. Nice, sweet uh, graphics and stuff. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of them out there that I looked at. I'm like, oh, man, kind of cool, you know? But, it was like a sales spike that game. Sorry, I'm still on that. Like it, when it came out, it was like, whoo, top of the list, and then it like plummeted. Like a rocket ship back to Earth. It just, <laughs> no parachute, just fucking burning. So we bought a few games. <laughs> Tom, I know one of the games you bought. You know, so, Rob, what is one of the games I bought? You bought Skyrim. Yeah, I did. Five bucks, dude. For five bucks, I bought Skyrim. Yeah. Nice so, game. it really, you know, so I, I just got it yesterday. I've already got like five hours in this already. And then we Morrowind never heard from him again. What's that? <laughs> Morrowind is still the best. Maybe, but Skyrim's not too shabby. I like how why is Morrowind better? Because it was, it, it just, it felt more original. Like, it, like there was more, it, it, it wasn't like, your bog standard, you know, European bullshit fantasy. Hey, 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 h
shit going on. I mean, yes, I'm not saying the, yeah. the engine was. I mean, it was. I mean, for fuck's sake, no. There, there was definitely some flaws to it. But as far as like the 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 lore and just the the, the general like feel of the game, I, Mora went infinitely better than either. I like jump it around to gain stamina. <laughs> Athletics and skills in that era, but it's not like Daggerfall didn't have even more skills than Morrowind. Like that's what that's just done, but it just does iteration. But but the whole thing about about Skyrim is it's all a little bitty. As Larry said, side quests. You can fucking side quest forever. And Larry Skyrim. has. Yes, yes, he has. He's Mr. Side Quest. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, tough. Right. To be, it's a tough game to be a completist. Yeah. Well, in that one especially, it's gonna be tough to be a completist. So since there literally are infinite. Yeah. Yeah, yes, but it like, randomly generates. It randomly generates more. more side quests, I which more often than not will just be like, "Hey, yes, go to this city on the other side of the game world and do this." It's like, why the fuck do you care, random person living in the sewers of Rifted? Why? Why is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But what I gotta say, it's it, 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 it graphically a beautiful game. The engine's good. It's a solid engine. It plays well. Um, so I'm gonna have a good, with, good time with that. I bought I bought a fish load during this. Come on. Because right. so you can still buy. I'm Earl, ten games. Earl, I'm already Earl. ten games into this guy. Yeah, your deal. Yeah, yeah. they have yeah. really high nice score on this one. Oh, only ten. ten. Only ten. So um, yeah. So what else did I get? I got the um, Sp space Hulk dude. Three bucks. That recreates nice. really yeah, cool. that It plays really nice. It tempted I me. That at the Christmas sale. You did? Yeah. yeah. It is really no. It really is a good recreation of the board. One of our listeners said it wasn't that good, so I didn't go with it. I'm sorry, our listener uh, <laughs> told me that it wasn't that good, so I skipped on it. Yeah, I grabbed it because I got the Oculus Rift. I grabbed a couple of things I didn't have that are Oculus Rift compatible. I got uh, Half-Life. Actually, I bought the, or, the whole orange box because it's like, again, it's practically freaking nothing, and that way you get a Half-Life. Two Forces, two Forces, two. Yeah, yeah this is deep, right, which was in the orange box. Yeah, in the orange box. Several years. Yeah, I, so I got that. Uh, How are they still selling the orange box? It's just half like two on sale. Is it Oculus? Yes. Yeah, no. It's on sale? Yeah. No, I didn't see that. Shadowrun is on sale? I missed yeah, that. Shadowrun is on sale. I'm well worth it. I'm okay, so that. that wasn't a deal. Guess, deal. guess what I'm buying next? Shadowrun. Yeah, that's good. And uh, Masquerade looked interesting. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. Player Masquerade. That's I got the Witcher game. Bloodline. Bloodline. Yeah, that was pretty solid. I mean, the game's pretty old now. But yeah, but but it's good. It was, it was, it was actually the first ever commercial release. Of the Source Engine, predating really? Half-Life 2, yes. Wow. But it's also buggy because Valve did not let them use like the the, the release version of the Source Engine because yes, because Run they didn't want to be upstaged. Run Alpha. So it's actually yeah, well that but yeah, it's it, it, it's not it, it was not running on like the the Half-Life 2 version of the Source fact. Engine. So, no, that was actually you know that. a good fact. So yeah, so Very then I got the Witcher, book, uh, both the original. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, what do they call it? The uh, um, One, something two. edition, the director's edition, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, and then I got Witcher 2. How so. much did you pick those up for? They're like three bucks, dude. Yeah, I picked right up for less than ten, so. <laughs> exactly, I mean, they were like nothing, so but at that point, and I've heard good things about them, so. What is it? Oh, oh the Witcher, the main character is a lady, It's a Polish, or people well, thought they were made by this developer <laughs> studio. <laughs> but they designed this really, it's a very, like, High adventure RPG. It's got it's it's a, I mean it's mostly linear, but it's got a very good storyline, very deep. Uh, I forget who it was written. The storyline was written by, but it's like a fairly famous Polish author. And that's what they say the storyline is amazing. Yeah, it's an adaptation of like a series of, of fantasy novels. Yeah, like it's a, it's based in that that universe as it were. So, but yeah, no, it's none of us read it. It's all original thoughts. No, exactly. Yeah, we have heard yeah, exactly. about the Witcher. The Polish voice acting is much superior to the English voice acting. So you know, just put that on. Turn subtitles on. Probably less offensive. Really? <laughs> yes, that's what I hear. Because the English voice acting is fucking terrible. And watch Euro porn while you're doing it. <laughs> in Polish. <laughs> yeah, it's in Polish. Sounds like a good so, movie. Yeah, so like I said. <laughs> 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 I think we've done a few of them. You weren't at the midget porn night. No. Yeah. It's not a good idea. No, I thought it was pretty funny. It was pretty hilarious. All right. <laughs> Darlene, was, <laughs> Darlene never <laughs> was into midgets that's again. That was the end of her midget game. <laughs> her whole midget porn Yeah, her whole yeah. midget thing. <laughs> I'm usually talking about the race Soul cars. The the <laughs> so yeah, so no, that's what I've been doing. I mean, and, and I get it. Now that I hear that uh, Shadowrun's on sale, I will buy Shadowrun next. Well, well, we're so, I've been playing the So people, if you, have we given any codes out uh, for our PC sale on uh, our 
Twitch yet? No, we'll probably be, uh, we're going to be doing three on Twitch, and then there will be a Friday free game. So you Steam people yeah. really should probably be keeping your eyes open on our uh, Twitch account yes. and on our Facebook account because there's going to be some free uh, Steam Summer Sale stuff coming up. Yeah, we haven't done a free Friday in a while, so that's coming up. Mm. Yeah, good call. Good call. I'll, jump, I'll jump on tomorrow. All right, all right. So, so well, tomorrow will be uh, tomorrow. Will, tomorrow will be Wednesday. They won't have seen the show yet. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow yeah. is first day of Summer Fest, and no one's watching the show. Uh, no offense. Uh, Nobody's watching it. That's, <laughs> anyways, uh, that's right. listen true. to it though. Many of our Texas listeners who are not oh. near oh. so fast oh, you know, will be uh, listen, yes, our Texas listeners. Do you know what's not a good idea though? Oh, no, no. A chair like this after it rained on for like three or four uh, days. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> life on a skid row, John. God, it reminds me of my homeless no. days. <laughs> I miss them. Yeah. And then your parent rap? Yeah. And it so, seems like it's more than a week away, right? Yeah, yeah. really. So, what did you do that same no problem? problem. Uh, well, I started with Delver. I think it was my first pick. I saw you playing that. Yeah, I love that game. I, <laughs> what is that? During my breaks at work, I'm like just going and I just leave it on. So whenever <laughs> I get a break at work, I'm like playing Delver. I don't want to be seen. Too bad. Oh, the camera <laughs> intentional. Uh, well, you're our host, so deal with it. Delver is a uh, it, it's a roguelike game, but it's in 3D, and it but it keeps a roguelike pixel type of graphics. So you're walking kind of in a pixelated world. It's really fun. It's really good. I didn't think it was going to be really good, but it ended up being really really good. What's the sale price on that one right now? It was like five dollars. Really? If that? Okay. Yes. So it was pretty good. I picked up Pac-Man the Ghostly Adventures. I like Pac-Man Because you could. It's it's a platformer. Hey, nothing wrong with There's nothing wrong with a platform. It is if it's not that good. Uh, is, it not, is it not that good? It's, it's, it's all right. I was thinking Pac-Man. For a few bucks, eh, you know. How much? It's all right. It was a few bucks. Wow. It's usually 30, so. Yeah, I'm not paying 30 for any kind of yeah. platform. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. But it was, it, you know, it's OK. okay. I've been Playing it. Ghostly Adventures, huh? Yeah, uh, Ghostly Adventures. All right. Any other? Octodad. I saw. Oh, see, I've seen you play. It. You've been playing the bitch load out of that one. Yeah, because it's fucking hilarious. It's really. Well, it's like an adventure game, but it's uh, it's, it's got the physics from that uh, Surgeon Simulator 2014. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just slapped around all over the place. Yeah, it is freaking hilarious. I love that game. Finished it. It's one of the funniest games I've played in quite some years. Well, yeah, you yeah. finished that one quick like, because you just started playing that one. Also, you can well, see it's, it's, it's not very long. It's very good. Stanley Parable I grabbed. I finished that one. Okay, wait a minute. So I got 10. How many did you get? I don't know. I think you got your guys up there, boss. There's one that's not on my list. I don't know where it went. Stanley Parable was weird. Yeah, it's weird. It was super cool. Yeah, it's good. I liked it a lot. It's a Stanley Parable. And it's really hard to explain what it is. It's like walking into our office in the morning. Yeah, yeah but there's nobody there. Leave, really. There's no people. It's, but yeah. there's this narrator like talking to you. It's kind of like a Stranger Than Fiction, but in a video game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty wow. much. That's the best way okay. to explain it. It's, 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 it's strange. Yeah, it's interesting. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a game. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not really good. Your best finders detail so far, but it's really good. Ah. No, Delver. Delver's probably my okay. favorite. All right, all right. Well, I picked up the Swapper. It's a side scroller uh, where you've got like a, you know, a teleport gun. It's okay. I like it. It's got good artwork. I, I haven't played enough of it to really say whether it's great or not. But yeah, you know, it's yeah. worth a couple bucks I paid for it. Uh, Battle Block Theater, by the way, guys, yeah, pick that yeah, one up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick yeah. yeah. that awesome. shit up. That looked freaking awesome. That is oh, fucking really awesome. Yeah, it's I, have, I have not tried it yet. It's kind of like, um, oh, what's that game that you love so much? Uh, it's a fighting game. Um, it's like, uh, god dang it, I can't remember the name of the game. Battle Block the Theater? He, no. He's looking he's at like you, Mike. Oh. Yeah, Mike's just giving me the puzzle line. Yeah, Mike, Mike's got this. Yeah, it's all those Sega games. It's all those Sega games that you love so much. There's a bunch of different people. Oh, like yeah, Super Smash Bros. Yeah, it's, it's a bit like that, but it's got different goals. There's like a basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you're being 
the hell out of people trying to throw the basketball in. There's just all sorts of different moments. Okay. There's, you know, everything. A little bit of everything. It is fucking hilarious. It's by the guys that made... It was Oh, God. Forget it. I'm just useless today. I'm too tired from work. I drink too much gin. Uh, I got Devil May Cry 4. Dude! This uh, list is going okay, yeah, on no, no, and on and so, on. Yeah, I'll go. So bad now because you have beat me out of the Come on, man. Don't Del- Del- cry for oh, You're gonna be as good. Okay, it's three times. How, how much was it? Oh, it is. It, it isn't really. It's not that good. The controls are really. Well, he's been saving all his pennies. I have people do for Gen Con. Yeah, he doesn't do Steam sale. Right. That's why I don't go to Gen Con. That's not Gen Con. But we're not gonna go into that. Uh, Metal Gear Rising, I picked up, haven't played it yet. Looks good though. Reviews <laughs> are good. The Pac Man Museum. Hell yeah! So we are going to see Rob next week because he's A, either going to be playing video games or B, Darling will have killed him. Yes, one of the two. Pac Man video games? She's beat down in the Pac Man Museum? Yeah, the Pac Man Museum's awesome. It's got like all the different Pac Man games in it. The classic ones like Super Pac Man, Pac Man. Pac Man? Oh, Pac Man is fucking awesome. Uh, Pac Man's in there. Uh, the, Do they come with the Championship Edition? The blocky one, yes. And that's the only it. one I'm interested in. <laughs> yeah, uh, and by the way, I own Championship Edition, so I'm pissed off that about Pac-Man that. That Pac-Man is the shit. That's yeah. Pac-Man. But I own that one, too, so I'm kind of pissed about is that. Is the Pac-Man Adventure <laughs> easier than the regular version? <laughs> Not that I know of, but I, well, I, I, I do it. Well, at least guys. <laughs> yeah, I play it on. my fingers <laughs> turbo graphics, so, you know. Uh, got to say throw uh, more. Makes, uh, playing. He needs to get it back. It just keeps going. It does. <laughs> I bought ten. One more. I was feeling bad about yeah. buying ten. No. I got one more. There's a reason he's got him out of his phone. Yeah. He have him all this I got oh. one damn more. And uh, I can't remember the name of it. It was, uh, oh, God. God damn it. It's one of those spy games. I can't remember. I just bought it today. It went on sale today, too. Not that, that one. Not that one. Not that one. That one sucked. That it, was, it was subpar. It, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was one of the Yes, it was, was, it was, it was classic obsidian. It was, it was rushed out the door with half of its content. I mean, it... Exactly. Classic. Don't hate the play, hate the game. <laughs> or wait, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Publisher and the player is the developer. You see, <laughs> the player is science. The player. Anything yeah. that you have to explain that that long. Is yeah, that okay? yeah, yeah. That was like seven words. Yeah, it was like seven, seven minutes. minutes. Too many. <laughs> God damn. All right. Terrible. So, so anyway, yeah, I got that. Are you done? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. You know what? I'm going to look. I'm going to see if Papers, Please is on yeah, there. Yeah, it's only Tuesday. That. Yeah, I got that. It's pretty good. Enjoy it. You watched uh, Let's Play on it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. All right. All right, so. What's the next topic, Rob? Well, the next topic is What About Larry? Where we talk about where Larry has been. Ooh. Uh, we were, where Larry's been? We were at uh, Midwinter, right? And uh, one of the guys at Midwinter invited us to another con that was going on that's all about the board gaming, the tabletop gaming. Tabletop gaming. So not, yeah. tell us not about so much board gaming, was it? Yeah, no, I think there was equal play. Really? Okay. And the three major categories. Well, well, tell, wait, first, tell us the name of where you were at. Oh, I was at Nexus. We're going to release some videos. I took a few videos while I was out there. A little bit of uh, us, uh, my daughter and I, gaming at a few of the different um, They're a little blurry, games. but, you know. And, uh, you know, so just a, a little bit of video. So we'll release those. And so it was the Nexus Gaming Convention. Basically, I ideas of trying to bring back gaming convention in Milwaukee in the summer because since we lost Gen Con many years ago. So, so Rob's still this there. is the attempt to try to bring this that back. And uh, they featured basically three categories of games. You had your your uh, role playing, pen and paper, um, miniatures, nice. and uh, board game. Uh, for the real family, geeks. Family board game. What? Pen and paper is for the real geeks. Pen you know, and paper is for the real geeks. Well, you're right, right, right. All right, thank you. you. Know, then, and I think that it probably is. But they sort of mixed the, the, they had events in the board game area that, but that was also like where the free play area was. And where the, we where, just drop in on something. where, what is it, Milcock? That yeah, that's the guy with the board, all the, uh, they, they, with you all, can check with out all the effing board games, dude. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. 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 Show yeah. Us. yeah. So, um, basically, let's sort of, sort of talk about, well, the, sort of the feel about it in general. Um, 
was there on a Thursday, all day on a Thursday. And it was attended, but it was fairly lightly attended. Um, it was Thursday, though. But it was Thursday, so I, yeah, I, I would imagine it would be. You know, and in some ways, you look at it and go, it's a Thursday, and there's people here. So yeah. yeah, not too bad, you know. They had a few glitches in the start. They, they uh, you know, they, like, we purchased our badges, like, a week earlier, and they didn't have them printed out, and, you know. And, and worse yet, we were offered free ones. But yeah. Maybe they wouldn't have had those printed out either. No, believe me, those were but, but, I mean, I, it's the first year they've run a convention like this, so I kind of feel like there was some minor glitches, but they're going to work that out, you know, and it's not not a big deal, you know. Um, overall, I think things were laid out pretty good, you know, they had a nice big room for role play. They had a, they call the media room, which is, they had panels, and, and the panels were basically a lot of old um, TSR guys. Oh, nice. You know, it was basically going back to Parkside Gen Con, you know, and, and like everybody that would have been a star at that was like at this. <laughs> They are still stars. Yeah, yeah, right. I know. But, you know, I mean, come on. That is that is the original game. Right. And uh, so they, they had the panels there. But then when they weren't doing panels in there, they were showing, like, uh, you know, um, movies, you know, sci-fi. First day, they started with Star Wars. And then, you know, kind of, kind of moved along. Um, they already have dates for next year and the year after. So, good. Maybe this, maybe this time they'll... Yeah, maybe. I, I hope so. Um, they were really nice to me when I was there, you know. They, well, they're nice guys, yeah. Yeah, no, so, maybe you know, not. I, I, it was a, passionate. For me, it was a little bit of a reunion because a lot of the volunteers and people running games, they were all Parkside people. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of people I ran into that were playing. None we're, of us ever grew up. We're, 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 we're Parkside people, so I was like, oh, there's a bit of a reunion going on here. One of the things I saw that was really interesting, um, they were playing Battletech, classic Battletech. I know, nice. In a double-blind format. Yeah. So they had uh, identical maps, uh, one here and one on the other side of a wall. They were identical maps, and there was a judge running back and forth, and then he would move, like, when this team moved, he would then go over and move the, mm -hmm. the pieces over here, and he would only move them if, if, if they could see them, line of sight. See them, line of sight. Line of sight. So it was really cool to watch that, that and watch them do that. Clever. That is actually a clever way of doing that, because it does give you a lot more control over what's going on during the game and makes the game more realistic. That was really clever. Yeah. That is amazingly geeky. I really like that. I yeah. do, too. No, I really like that. That, that 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 brings geekiness to a new level. Well, it's funny. I, like I didn't that, even that. I didn't even know it. I kind of thought there were just two games going on, and Alicia's like, "Hey, those maps are exactly the same. Are they playing the same game?" And then I asked the guy, and sure enough, they were. They were playing the same that's, game. That's really cool. <laughs> that, that, like that's that. pretty cool. So um, vendor area is pretty small at this point. I expect that's going to grow as as people believe the convention is worth. You know, as vendors believe, oh yeah, this is worth my time to go out. And, you know, which I think it will be. Um, you know, uh, I think that will grow. Um, we we actually interviewed one of the guys. I can't think of the, the, his store now. It was the one, when we did our interviews at Fire and Ice, he was one of the guys we oh, interviewed nice. at Fire and Ice. He was there. Um, and uh, uh, let's see. The um, prices, food prices were reasonable, which was nice, a refreshing change. Uh, from going to semi, you know. Oh, the con, you go to the uh, con, man. Yeah. It's really, yeah. You, know, you go out to some of those restaurants, me and Travis knows what that, I mean, we, we dropped a fistful of beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were giant beers. They, they were, like they were giant beers, but, but still, you paid eight dollars, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I don't know beer prices. They did give you, uh, um, everybody who got to the convention got a refillable plastic cup, and the hotel would fill it with soda. It was like a 16 You got free soda? For or they would refill it for a buck. Oh, that's so, not bad. That's, yeah. not, that's yeah. not bad. Good idea. So, what yeah. hotel was it at? It was at the Clarion. 
Cleary. And near the airport, right? Yeah, near the airport. Which I actually okay, wait, I'm not. Okay, the, the, okay we got, got, I'm not. You got, got, got a little hyper local there. Near yeah. the Milwaukee Airport, in yeah. the airport hotel. Which is really General 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 Mitchell International, International Airport. Say, if they eventually get to the point MKE. where people are flying in, you know, it actually would work out really well. You well, know? give it a couple years, maybe there'll yeah. be people flying in. And, uh, um, yeah, the, the furthest person I met was a Parkside person who flew in, and he was from Seattle. So. But it was a Parkside person who flew in Seattle? Okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he, he stayed the whole, obviously. Oh, PA, you fly in, you're going to do the whole. Yeah, you're going to do the whole. PA, guys? Yeah. Nice. Nice. So you feel that you have found Gen Con Soul? What happened to Gen Con Soul? You know, I thought it was cool. I mean, they did have a, they did, they were doing one of those, um, what did they call it? Uh, math, uh, math, uh, Math auctions or something like that, where you put your game in, and then it like a computer decides whether well, or not the next. About that. The, 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 there's some sort of math thing, like you, I don't know, answer some questions or something. You put your game in, and then the computer will, will find a game that's been put in that best fits you. And that's the game you get then. But you can still back out of it, though. I, I you know, uh, they do it on. Uh, I think that they should be able to back out. I think that's your best. No, 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 no. I use shots recording. I mean, there's absolutely no crap we don't want. Why would you buy Malar, Malar. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, it also gets people in, too. I mean, most of it probably works because most people, the reason they're putting it in they're sick of that game. Yeah. So something fresh is Any almost kind of always going worth it. You know? Do so, they have an auction auction? Well, I mean, that's about as close as they, I didn't see an auction auction. Larry does that with girlfriends, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, he has sure. the same thing. Yeah. Computer, just <laughs> Close enough. <Yeah. laughs> That's <laughs> good. The uh, played a lot of the normal classic games that I uh, normally play: Munchkin and Talisman, and then uh, it's kind of funny. We were, I was playing Talisman with my daughter, and uh, she was like, "Man, this game's really great." I'm like, "You know, we own it, right?" <laughs> <laughs> Just stay home. Yeah. Yeah. It's in our basement, right? <laughs> so that, um, but a new game I played was Legendary. Have you heard of that one, Travis? Legendary, the Marvel one. Right? The Marvel one, yeah. yeah. Put out by the great game maker, Upper Deck. Yeah, that's right. They brought you baseball cards. Now they bring you games. Hey, Bruce, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deck building game where everybody plays against the board. It's yeah, it's, I like it's a it. good deck building game. I don't say it's like a great one. But like you don't really interact a whole lot with other players, which I think is kind of yeah. You know, you play you play cooperative again. Mostly, you just are trying to prevent the board from beating you, but you're also trying to build your own fame. Yeah. And so so you're yeah. only yeah. Well, Skid Row, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like fucking mothballs out here. All of a sudden, it got really dark <laughs> and cold. It's like fucking mothballs. It smells like mothballs. <laughs> oh, God. This when was she coming from the lake? <laughs> this is how the show ends. Yeah. This is how we die and you yeah. never see us ever again. Oh, well, lucky then. So I'm actually thinking about picking uh, that one up. Uh, I also picked up a used game. Uh, my first experience with... Um, with uh, independent games was the game called Crisis. Mm -hmm. I've talked about it before. It's been. Oh, it's called Larry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It, anyways, it's it, it's a cool game. It's, it's like a twisted version of the game of life, and it was a. But I, I bring it up because we're always talking about independent developers and right. stuff. And this was 20 years ago. They, they I never loved it. Yeah, yeah. It was it was it was a cool game. So I was glad to be able to pick that up. And the last thing I was talking about is um, there was one game and I didn't get to play it. Uh, but it um, seemed really interesting. Man, you guys are serious. We're recording the... Yeah. Say hi to the audience. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, uh, the, it was, it was, uh, who's your daddy? Oh, oh whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, uh, the game of daddy? DNA testing? <laughs> yeah. Apparently the goal of the game is to your character to have as many children as possible and get someone to pay child support. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Wait, you <laughs> I did. I did. I, oh, I know what, I I know what we are it. doing next game night, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah, yeah. up. Who was your dad? That I is the not, next game night. I did not choose pick it up, but I, I wanted to play it. And I, yeah. uh, and wait, wait. Choose the daddy or who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? I like it. 
That is the next game night, gentlemen. Uh, so, uh, that was a, seemed like a crazy game. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's Milwaukee, come on. Uh, and I did play Tekanoko. I think I said it right. I think I did. Yeah, so I, 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 me, man. And I, that's a, the great panda feeding game. Available in 3D, did by you, the way. Did you play the, uh, yeah. Okay, so did Wu's big, big version yeah. again? Yes, and we played it. Okay, so so and I won. Explain explain <laughs> a little bit what the hell that game is. Okay, if you haven't seen our video on it. Okay, um, and I don't know if our video explains it at all. No, it doesn't actually. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, we did it in 3D. Who cares if it explains it? It's freaking 3D. 3D. It looks cool. So at, so after I get to tell you, go check the 3D video out. So <laughs> yeah, there's a girl on there that accuses me of zooming in on her breasts. You did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> but they in were 3D. 3D. <laughs> <laughs> she should have been a little more upset about it. <laughs> she really thought that. She should have been pretty ticked off. <laughs> so, uh, basically, it's a it's a it's a um, uh, achieve goal type game, like a ticket to ride or one of those where you pick up uh, various goals. So you know, cards are goals, and then you try to achieve one of three types of goals. It's some sort of feeding a panda. So you know, feed the panda various types of bamboo. Either a couple pink ones, a couple green ones, whatever. And then there's the first yeah. question: Do you can you win by starving the other people's pandas to death? Or pandas to death? No, everybody feeds the same panda. Uh, oh, but, oh, but you can you can oh, try you to uh, you can, if you think you know what they're doing, you can try to prevent them from. There's a club to maybe seal round though. Yeah, there's. <laughs> the, it's actually it is both the cutest and probably nicest game you play. It's not a screw your neighbor type game. No. Uh, 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 speaking of screw your neighbor. <laughs> so, speaking of screw your neighbor. I want that for my segue. <laughs> Thanks for listening to guys, games, and beer. <laughs> That's all I really have to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> Come visit us at www.guysgamesandbeer.net. Win free games on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash guysgamesandbeer.